Welcome back to Mad Card again in our continuing playthrough of Fallout 4 Clear the Map. Standing here on the lovely blimp, the Goodyear blimp, the Pridwin. Um, what did I need to do? I think I need to go speak to the, the bearded wonder, Elder Maxon. That's where we left off. Ad Victorium to you. Uh, yep, that is where the icon lays. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Thank you. We'll go with sarcasm. Ah, it was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. These Once things aboard, are... Use the Sketchy. map on your pit boy to interface with the Say pilot's the least. navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Playing on survival, they're another mode of transportation, but well, like I said, those things are made of paper mache. I'm so I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course, nothing stopping you from and using finding a nice open flight. space for them to actually land, because their their Thank pathing you, is also not great. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. No. I'm sure you're aware right. that Fort Strong is simply about. the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, Maxon. we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Underground? Sounds like you're gonna have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, the transit tunnels, or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Where do you think I should go? Any suggestions where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to Did teleport- Did I even tell him about that? Then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your Nick mysterious on me. C could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Teagan. Okay. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. And I'm out. But first... Next step in the armor. I think I have to have all 40 of the best ones for that ballistic weave. And I got two levels to go just to get the next. So, hmm, okay. I keep debating whether I want to wait until I get all the way up to four before I start weaving stuff. Or should I do it as I go along? Because that ballistic, uh, or that, uh, yeah, the fiber is expensive. Hard to come by. Uh, I'm trying to decide what to do next. We got such a long list now. I still don't know if I'm um, high level enough to handle the the new content, especially on hard difficulty. So I like to go back to the, the array. when I don't know what to do. I'll out. I'll go back to the the beginning missions, kind of do them in chronological order. So let's go back and finish up what we told uh, Scribe Halen we would do. Don't worry about my rads. First, go find a puppy face. Okay, last time he was kind of hard, difficult to locate. So it always seems to be dark when I get here too. There he is. Hey, buddy. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Time to go. 
Okay. We got puppy back. Let's head on to sanctuary and do a little bit of management. You know me, I like a clean inventory. Clean butt, clean inventory. Or one of the two. Drop off this power armor. Can't be very sneaky in it. Get my god awful color schemed uniform back on and never leave a fusion core behind. Come back and Marcy will be walking around in your power armor. Okay, what can I put the weave on? I know I can't put it on this stuff, but I'm going to need to shadow this stuff eventually, I think. So I can put it on the suit, and I do need rank 2 for that. 3, and yeah, I do have to have all the way up rank 4. And see, that costs a lot of fiber. It's like 12 fiber for one piece. So, still need to find the, uh, the suit I'm going to wear that can also hold armor on top of it. I mean, if you take a, like a hat and a regular suit of clothes and you armor both of them, that's like 220, I think, damage and energy res resistance, which is pretty damn good. But I have a bunch of legendary armor pieces that I would like to get the benefits from, you know, the vats and the the movement speed and things like that so I don't just want to put on some some clothes and uh, goodbye flannel I'm in this bright god-awful orange uniform now we have to switch this back I'll probably do it off camera because you know trying to figure out all this uniform stuff and might be too much for everybody to sit there and watch and go through. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Don't need all this meat. Stuff's starting to stink anyway. Boop. Yep. Got a couple mods I don't need. Had some legendaries I wasn't using. They got a freezing pistol and stuff. Yeah. Don't need it. Yep, got my new... Okay. There we go. Oh my god. Who let this cow in here? You take a dump and it's your ass. Where's Carla? Get your cow. Where is she? Oh, I get it. I'm babysitting now. Fine. Marcy, watch the cow. Okay, let's go to the Super Duper Mart. I don't know if any of you have played uh, Fallout 3, but uh, Super Duper Mart was kind of one of the, the first um, big dungeons that you, you come across. This is kind of a kind of a facsimile of it. I mean, that was in Washington. This is in Boston, so it's not the same building. But and I think the first oh, there's a teddy bear. I didn't forget your dog meat. Speaking of, where's that little turd? Well, I can't give him a teddy bear if he's not here. What the hell? I told him to come with me. I think we had a little a little glitchy poo there. We'll have to go back and get him at some point, I guess. He's probably still at the Red Rocket, but let's not slow this down. Let's let's keep rocking and rolling here. Super duper marked. Now in Fallout 3 it was full of uh raiders. Um I think this one is just um ghouls. So might get some um what you call it? Oop, was that him? Nope. That was a bird. Uh, get some blood samples. For the uh, Brotherhood scribe. Maybe. Okay. Come on in here. Still like this new <laughs> vats where I can see through walls and everything. Okay. Standard procedure in this place is let the Protectron do everything. 
especially if he turns out to be like a, a legendary or something. That would be cool. Okay, that is a blue one, which means he's waiting to spring a trap on me. He's behind or he's inside of a shelf or something. Another teddy bear. Wow. Dog meat's not even here to take advantage. Okay, there's a technical document. Okay. It's all money. Okay, I can't get into the safe, so we'll have to do the terminal. Bear with me. All this silliness. Okay, tear. Two likenesses. That's good for a four-letter word. Okay, give me that. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, doop, doop. H-E-A. Okay, might be that. Nope. Okay. Boot. Nope. E nope. Nope. Trying to compare it to both words, tear and heat. So it's getting down to the last word, so I don't think I'm seeing it. I'm sure I passed it. Small brain this whole thing, just trying to speed through it not a difficult process which is the funny part uh, no 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 come on sorry about this folks I'm sure there's some I know there's ways to like if you search out little brackets and stuff you can uh, take words out and kind of help you along but it's really not that hard it's just scrolling through all this crap so There we go. I have passed it. Figures. Okay, open up the safe. And nope, not the safe. I want the protector on. Okay. Since we are going to be fighting, we need to switch his thing to fire. That way he doesn't care if we shoot, from what I understand. And let's get him walking. Powering up. Go get him, buddy. On, on duty. There are quite a few ghouls in here, so... Let him do the heavy lifting while we loot. I love robots in this game, but Protectrons are so slow. <laughs> you handle this, man? I'm calm. Not injured yet. Yep, there's one down down the way there. Where's he at? Okay, yeah, down in the rubble. Whoop, is there another one getting up? Alright, you handle those. I'll start over here on the right side. Okay, he's whoop, he might be coming up behind me there. Don't want that. Sneaky sneaky. Yeah, a lot of these, they don't even trigger into, it's like a proximity thing. So I'm just firing off guns and these guys are just sleeping through it. I'm a heavy sleeper myself. I know I couldn't shoot through that, I was just testing it. Let's see if, how ridiculous this uh, new VATS thing has gotten. There's a sample. Yep, keep looking for those. Free money. Blood samples and documents. Okay, he's being all sneaky. There we go. He hadn't found anything yet. I may have to trigger all these things. I don't know if he can do it. Another blood sample. Excellent. Is he out in the open? Wake up. See, that's kind of disorienting because he may be behind a door or something, but I'm still able to see him for some reason. Hmm.
walk around loudly, but I'm kind of worried. I don't want to wake them all up at the same time. Let's put it that way. Where in the hell did that Protectron go? He was just right there in front of me. Yeah, I know the ghoul's there. Where could he have gone? I can't hear him anymore either. Okay, are we glitching? Did the poor guy fall through the floor? No, there he is. He just teleported to the other side of the mart. You're fast, buddy. Tectron sport version. Nice. <laughs> he, 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 he. Okay. Anybody? Yeah, you're in there. I can see you. There you go. Now you wake up. Take care of that, man. I always like to let... When it's viable and when they're capable, I, I like using uh, companions and stuff like that. They're just not great Approach. in this game. Whoa, got it. Come on. Target. Fist fight. Ooh. Brought a ghoul to a fist fight. Or a, to a gunfight. Well, he's just beating him to death. Damn. Come on, Protectron. You have two laser hands. Use what you got. Okay. Yeah, see, he's... Waiting on the other side of that wall. <laughs> Can't trap me, guys. I can see you before you come out. With ammo, always drugs. Laser musket, sure, why not? Come on, I know you're there. You thought you were so sneaky. You're like, oh, I want to surprise him. Nope. No, you're not. Okay, those guys are behind in that back, back room. I don't know if I like the the vats that shows you absolutely everything, even before they're moving behind walls and everything. That takes some of the suspense and mystique out of it, but boy, it sure is helpful. Keep my ass from getting killed and walk into traps, I guess. But I'd say I just won't use vats, but I have to. I'm a vats user. That's the build. Everybody wake up. These are more proximity triggers. Come on. I know you're in there. Yep, he was one. There we go. Oh, look at that. Three guys just popped up back at the front door. You sneaky bitches. That's so sneaky. But I'm sneakier. Okay, there's one. Hey, you. Oh, wait, shit. Where did he come from? Well, I said I'm sneaky. <laughs> I hold the candle to these guys. Come on, get him, get him. Attention, citizens. Get him, sport model. You may now resume your normal activities. And so some of the ones in the back room also woke up. The, uh, for just a regular Protectron, he's pretty, pretty effective. Identify yourself. Oh, now see how sneaky I am? He didn't even see me. Ran right past me. Love it. Good job, man. Yeah, for a regular Protectron, he's killed, what, three or four of these things now? Those viable blood samples actually make ghouls worth looting or checking sometimes. Oh, come on, you stupid zeros. Boom. Got me a level. Okay. Since we pause time, we can go ahead and do that. Okay, I can't get the armor till next. What else would I need? Need everything. Okay, nothing is popping up there. Always need the sneak. That Sandman, once I can get a silencer on this gun I'm using, that 15% sneak damage is going to be even better. So, but can't go wrong with sneak. Now I am super sneaky. There are a lot of ghouls in here. I don't remember there being this many. 
Uh, that's the back out to the main place. What else we got? Okay, there's one. Do 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 do. Oh, they're like, oh, we're gonna surprise him. No, you're not. Nut shot, bang. You're a ghoul. You have no use for balls. Hmm, I wonder what's in here. Oh, look, it's a med box. I'm sure nothing's going to happen. Oh. Game doesn't even know how to handle it. <laughs> they just fling him into the room. Any teddy bears in there? Nope. Okay. Let us see. I can, oh, okay. I hear you. Where you at? Let's get my magic vats vision. Uh-huh. Didn't even have an icon for him, but I can still see him in the vats. Okay. Bullets. Okay. Don't need any of that. Bourbon. I like bourbon in real life, so we're going to have some. Wind duct tape. Nice. Okay. Rich school. Got a gold watch. Nothing like some bourbon when you're killing ghouls. It has absolutely no effect on what I'm doing, I don't think. I believe it's a strength thing and <laughs> gives me the little glass icon in the bottom right though. That's that's pretty funny. Telephone. It's for you. Okay. What you got there? Yep, you got a broken lockpick. Got it. Mm, yeah, Rad X. This is worth it. It's more expensive than a lockpick. Okay, so all these guys are just sitting here waiting for me. Hey, everybody up. Wait for one to pop out of this room, probably. Look at that. Ooh, hey. You're so sneaky. I'll give you a hand. Ooh. Oh, look at you guys. Yeah, well, you can get surrounded in this place. Like, quickly. Everybody sit down. Get up and sit down. Checking for blood samples and or flip lighters. Got to have my oil. Especially since I think the, um, what you call it, the enclave paint job requires oil for some reason. Oh, the flux capacitor. Give it to Marty McFly. No back to the future, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, anything else? I think we have seen all Super Duper Mart has to. Oh, hang on. Got another box. Okay. I am a serial looter in most cases. Uh, it's telling me to go out downstairs, so I guess this gives you a way to, to escape so you don't have to deal with those three that pop up at the front door. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. 
little private garage here. Oh, I hear you. Where are you? Oh my god, where did you even come from? Being this sneaky has its advantages. Those guys popped right up on top of you and you still were able to take them out. It's very fancy for a garage door. And back out in the fresh air. Smell like ghoul in there. Okay, where was... Oh, yeah, there was... Um, oh, Halen is still at the police station. That's right. I think later on she might move over to the Prid one, but right now I guess she's there. Old Dance left her behind. She's holding down the fort. The human-looking synths are the worst. They are, are they? Halen. You find that technology yet? I did. Here it is. Great. You like I get my armor? Documented and ready to send off. Here, the White Knight. will always be in demand. Let me know if you think you can handle another like stormtrooper. Hmm. Can't do it right now. I got All these right. things just to report back to me when you're able. Complete these just missions. Sure I don't want to do ready. them over and over and over again. The last They're just more uh, repeatable. Kills ended up scraping rust off of the Pridwin's hull from the outside. Okay, let's take a look here. Alive. Well, that lost patrol. That might not be too bad, but boy, oh boy, you got to deal with a a uh, super mutant encampment that is can be a, a pain. <laughs> If you're not prepared I do have my 50 cal I could probably do some damage from the distance but let's go talk to my buddy Kent he's one of my favorite missions ah dang it it's two missions and no idiot savant oh well I even lowered my intelligence to zero with that bourbon you would think those things would hit I should stay drunk all the time <laughs> And lower your intelligence supposedly the more often that uh, idiot savant's supposed to hit okay he wanted me to go get the silver shroud costume from hubris comics so you thought there was a bunch of ghouls in super duper mark well get ready Let's see if i can get through this place without taking a hit How sneaky I can be. Okay, that stupid monkey there is going to give it away anyway, so let's go ahead and kick it off. Stand in the corner. Normally they would have seen me by now. Oh, nope, don't want to shoot him, obviously. How about you hit the guy that's about to kill you? There you go. Okay, he hasn't triggered yet. Look at all those red dots. They all want to chew on my ass. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to make that shot. It only took one. Boop. Come on, come on, come on. Right in between. Betwixt. Boom. Not a candy. There we go. Okay, here he comes. Mid-air shot. Trick shot. Stupid shells. Get out of my way. Nope, here we go. More people dropping from the ceiling. Okay, okay. Closing. Is that the only one on ground level right now? Everybody else seems to be above me. This whole building's full of them. I think the building's like four stories tall, so. Come on. Show yourself. Oh, shit. Don't short trigger these guys. Okay, I 
can see them through the roof, but I don't think I can shoot them, so... Let's let everybody just calm down. How about that? Yeah, my danger's starting to, to fade. They are looking, but they cannot find me. For those blood samples, anybody? I'm kind of um, somewhat amazed that out of all of those, it didn't have any legendaries. I wonder if it's set when I first discovered Hubris, if it's set it at that level, maybe. The enemies inside and they've just been kind of chilling since I got back maybe you would think with that many hell in Super Duper Mart 2 but I got that mission a long time ago I don't know how the mechanics work but okay nice little safe yeah I would like to see a few more legendaries I really would like some you know, some combat armor with some good perks on it for my left and right arm. Get jangles. I wonder if dog meat will play with the jangles like he does with teddy bears. That'd be funny watching him sling that creepy monkey around. Okay, I think I activated all these guys, so they should already be walking around. Oop, there's one. Yeah, he would have normally been sleeping over there, I think. Yep, there we go. Can I? Yeah, snuck that shot in. That was close. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't let him come around the corner. He'll get you. Oh, come on. This can be annoying. Damn. Okay. Some more above me. There's a blood sample. Still no legendaries. Come on, guys. Sounds in this building are kind of creepy because they're like all stacked on top of you. If you're playing on a mode that you don't have the icons, this is a uh, nerve-wracking, especially with ghouls because they move so damn fast. Smoking's bad for you. Screen's bad for you. That's it. That is it. Okay, another office key. I think that's the office upstairs, I believe. Don't get complacent. There are many more ghouls in this place. Yep, there's one. Just hanging out in the break room. Mm hmm. Hanging out in the bathroom. Industrial. Okay, we'll take that. Any more teddy bears in the toilet? Nope. Actually, got a couple teddy bears this this round, or this uh, episode. Hopefully, I haven't lost dog meat. But did I clear everything? Yes, this is not a door. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've been in here. There's an office that has um, like the script or something in it. Maybe it's on the next floor. I think I may be just uh, getting ahead of myself. It happens. Oh. I'm sneaky. Whoop. See? He didn't even have an icon. Oh, you guys are so sneaky. Come on. I know you're out there. There you go. Step into the light. Do, do, okay.
Hit it. Oh, see? What'd you do? What did you do? You short triggered it. Damn it. Okay, I took a hit. That was dumb. Could have shot him twice, but backed out of Vats because I thought he died, but he had that one point of health left. Fuck. I'll take it out on this rad roach. Eat shit, bug. Dung beetle. Yep, there's that script. Okay, a few more dribs. Good to have. Squirrely bits. Okay. Now, this is uh, kind of the boss level. There's a, a glowing one up here and a bunch of shit in this place. Can't lob anything through that window, of course. I'd like to just throw a Molotov in there. He's protected over there behind a screen that you can't shoot through fabric for some reason. Can I get that? Nope, that was not going to go through. Oh, shit. That's a panic throw. Awesome. Set myself on fire. That took half my health. Uh, such an idiot. Uh, savant. Ooh, thought I was going to shoot the stairs on that one. Okay, there's another one. There was three, I think. And then the, the glowing one. Hopefully he hasn't trolled. Oh, yep, there he goes. So when you see that, that means he just woke everybody the hell up. I'm going to have to critical his nog. No, I don't want to do that. Critical that face. There you go. Eat it. Eat and that. Okay. Oh shit, there was two more. Uh, hopefully he falls quick. Yep, knock him out of the way. Okay. Another one? Damn, there was more up there than I thought. Oh, he might have died from the, um, the Molotov. <laughs> I might have actually done something with that Molotov. It happens. Okay, there's the costume. I can't. It's a neat little costume, especially if you like role playing. Like yes. A detective or something. You know, it's a cool overcoat and a hat and all that. And uh, if you get through some of the missions and stuff, Kent will actually uh, upgrade it for you. It's not as good as Ballistic Weave, but it's serviceable. It's enough if you want to play, you know. If you want to role play, it's it's good enough. Astoundingly awesome. I do not have an alien blaster. Always check for clothes. Gotta have them. Got to have yes. them. Okay. Who got me a tuxedo? That's fancy. For some reason, I don't think to, uh, the tuxedo has um, charisma. Excellent. Oh, there's Grognak. If you're a melee character, one of the best things you can wear. I think it makes you like 25% uh, stronger doing more damage. Fortunately, I'm not a melee. Okay. Get out on the roof. You can fast travel from here. You don't have to go all the way back downstairs. And since we're going to do that, let's perch up here like Batman and call it a part. Thank you so much for joining me on Mad Cardigan, and I will see you in the next one.